Hello class and welcome to another art lesson. Today I want to talk to you about Balinese shadow puppetry or Wayang Kulit. Now shadow puppetry is a common form of storytelling in Bali. These stories will often be inspired by Hindu epics such as the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. Now the puppets themselves resemble characters from these stories and are painted and cut out into beautiful shapes. But one of the more interesting parts is how these puppets are made. See, the puppets are actually made out of animal skin. See, the kulit in Wayang Kulit actually translates to skin and refers to the leather that makes the puppets. Now, this puppet is very close to home for me because I work at the Center for Puppetry Arts. See, I teach puppetry lessons to students who come for field trips and everything, and we have a large collection of Indonesian and Balinese puppets. And I've actually taken out a few of the leather ones to show to the students. And if you touch any of these puppets, you'll notice that they feel a little bit brittle. Like, they don't feel as soft and thin as paper, but they don't feel as hard as wood. It's a very interesting medium. Now you're probably wondering, how do people in Bali put on a shadow puppet show? Well, the answer is pretty simple, actually. See, to put on a shadow puppet show, they would have a puppeteer, a screen, and a light. So the puppeteer would be the person holding the leather puppet naturally. And they would stand behind a screen. Now this screen would typically be cotton, something that's very thin so that you can see the puppet through it. Now they'd hold up their puppet right to the cotton screen, and behind the puppeteer, they would have a light source. Historically, they would use an oil lamp in Bali, but nowadays most people use electric lights. Now the light will shine through all the little holes that are cut into the puppet, and project a beautiful silhouette of a character on the other side. And, depending on how thin the cotton screen is, the audience may see the colors that are painted into the puppet as well. So now, I have a challenge for you guys. I'm going to show you how to make your very own shadow puppets. Now, these puppets are going to be very simple, and they can be made with materials you find around the house. Now, first, what you're going to need is a sheet of paper. Now, I've done some testing, and I've found out that you can use typing paper, paper towels, or even newspaper to make these shadow puppets. All three of those materials, if put in front of a light, will cast a shadow. So, on your sheet of paper, whether it's typing paper, paper towels, or newspaper, I want you to draw a face. Now, draw a face with holes that can be cut out for the eyes and the mouth, or, if you want, a nose. Now, take a pair of scissors and cut out your face, as well as the holes for the eyes and the other features. Now, after you have your face cut out, take two sticks. Now, these sticks can be chopsticks or any two sticks that you find outside, but take these two sticks and tape one to the top of the face and one to the bottom of the face. Now, standing in front of a light source, like say, a lamp or a flashlight or even the sun, hold your puppet by the two sticks and move your hands up and down. As you do this, you'll notice that your puppet casts a shadow that looks like a face making weird expressions. Now, remember, we're not using a cotton screen for these shadow puppets. We're just casting a shadow on any flat surface, such as a wall or even the floor or a sidewalk. Now, don't worry if it doesn't come out right the first time. You can always cut out a new face, make a new puppet, or you can try to put the light in a different position and see how your puppet looks from there. Well, now that I've showed you how to make your own shadow puppet, I hope you have fun with this. You can make these as detailed or as crazy as you like. You can make these as intricate or as scary as you want. Well, that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, have fun, and keep creating.